hi guys welcome back to another video here in this video i'm going to teach you how to make your website live on the internet here i will use a portfolio website that i have already created on my channel you can see the website that i have created and right now the website url is a local server url in order to make this website live we need a domain name and web hosting domain name is a website name that people can enter in the url to access your website and the web hosting provides you an online space to host your website files on the internet. There are multiple hosting providers like Hostinger, GoDaddy, HostGator and many others. I have personally used all the hosting providers in the past and I found that Hostinger is the best in terms of pricing, website speed, features and customer support. You can also visit these hosting websites and compare the price and features they are offering. So, I am going to choose Hostinger web hosting for my website. Just click on the link given in the description that will directly take you to this web hosting page. Here you can see different hosting plan and choose any one according to your requirement. In the single web hosting plan you can make only one website but if you choose premium web hosting then you can make 100 websites. You also get a free domain name with the premium web hosting plan which is not available in the single web hosting plan. So let's click on this button add to cart. Here you can see 4 options based on the duration. The maximum duration you will choose, you will get the maximum discount as you can compare the pricing here. I am going to choose the 4 year plan to get the maximum discount. But if you want it for less duration then you can choose 1 year or 2 years plan also. In the 4 year plan I am getting 3 months extra duration also. Let's select this plan and scroll down. Here you have to enter your email id or you can sign up with your facebook or google account by clicking on this button. Now scroll down and here you can see we are getting premium web hosting plan for 48 months and a domain name which is free. We can choose the domain name after purchasing the web hosting. Here you can see the total price after including all the taxes and fees. But you can get additional discount on it when you come through my link given in the description and apply my coupon code easy tutorials. Click on this link. Then enter the coupon code easy tutorials in this box. And click on the apply button. After applying my coupon code you can see we got additional discount of around 1000 rupees and here is the final price. Now you can choose any of these payment methods like credit card, debit card, UPI, internet banking or any other then you can complete the payment. After completing the payment you will come to this page. Here you can see this premium web hosting and here we have the button setup. Let's click on this button and now we will click here start now. Here I will select the first option then again select the first one and after that I will click here skip and uh, again I will click on this uh, skip link and here you can choose the domain name for your web hosting. Here you have three options. Here you can add the domain name which is purchased from the other domain registrar or you can choose the domain available in your Hostinger account. I have this domain name available that I have already purchased and here in the left side you can see claim a free domain because we have purchased the premium web hosting so we can get a free domain name with this hosting plan. So we will select this one, click on this button. In this search box you can search the domain name that you want to purchase. Let me write my name here Avinas KR and in this drop down I will select dot com and I will click on the search. So after that you can see it is displaying this domain name is already taken because I have already purchased this domain. So I need to search something else. So let me add one more letter here I will add krr and after that Again click on the search button. So this domain name is available. So now we can continue. Let's click on this button and here you can change the server location as you want. 
After that, it is displaying the domain name and click on this button. Here you have to enter your personal information like name, address and contact details for your domain name. And after adding all these details, click on this button, finish registration. This is for the domain. Again, click on this button. After that, you will come to this page here. It is saying you are ready. And here we have the button manage site that will take you to the control panel of the hostinger. So this is the control panel of the hostinger where you can manage your website. You can add the files, database, and you can add the SSL. So let me open my website right now, which is avinaskrr.com. Here you can see it is displaying a basic web template that is created by the hostinger. So our domain name is working fine right now. Next we have to upload our own website that we have created on our local server. So let me come back to the control panel. Here in this left side, you can see we have the option called files. And within this files, you can see one link that is file manager. And you can see the file manager over here also. So let me click on this file manager. So it will open the file manager for our web hosting. Now just click here on this public underscore HTML. So at this place, we have to upload our all code file that we have created. So let's come back. And here you can see we have the HTML, CSS and images file for our website. So let me merge all these files in a zip file so that we can upload all files in one click. So we have created one zip file, including all the HTML, CSS and images. Let me rename it as website.zip. Now we can upload this zip file. So let me come back to the file manager again. And here you can see this upload icon, then click on file. After that, we have to select the zip file and click on this button open. You can see the zip file has been uploaded. Next, we have to extract this zip file here. So right click on this and click on extract. After that, it is asking one folder name. So we will add website. And after adding the folder name, just click on this extract link. Now you can see one folder called website. In this folder, we have the HTML file, CSS file and images. Next, we have to move all these files. So select all files, then right click and select move file. Next, we have to give the path where you want to move this. So let's click here and it will take us to the public underscore HTML folder. Just click on move and here we have all these files in the public underscore HTML folder. Now delete this website folder and this website zip file. Let me delete this default.php also because we have already uploaded our own HTML and CSS file. So you can see it is same as the local files in the local server. You can see we have the HTML, CSS and images. And in this file manager also, we have the same HTML, CSS and images. After adding this, let's come back to the website and refresh the website again, which is avinaskrr.com. So you can see the same portfolio website is displaying in my domain name. You can see the domain name is avinaskrr.com and if I scroll the website, it is exactly same as the website that was running on the local server. In this URL, you can see the secure icon and the text is connection is secure. It means we have SSL installed on our website that is free with the hostinger. So this was very easy to get a domain name and web hosting and upload your website from the local server to the online server. You can go on the hostinger and get your domain name and web hosting and upload your website online. If you get any issue or need any help, you can ask me in the comment section or you can also email me on this given email ID. I can help you to set up your website online. So if this video was helpful for you, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video.